Hi, my name is Melissa Coates, and today I want to talk about certifying data in the Power BI service and what the certification designation really means. In this video, we will review three things. First, the two types of endorsements in the Power BI service, what content can be endorsed, and third, the meaning of certification for data, reports, and apps, because this distinction is a really important one. Let's begin with the two types of endorsements, certified and promoted. The certified endorsement is used to signify that content is trustworthy. This implies there is a process and some amount of rigor involved to be certain it's trustworthy. Whereas the promoted endorsement is more of a way to amplify that content is available for use. And it doesn't mean that it's not trustworthy, but it usually means something less than certified because anyone with edit permissions on the object can set it to be promoted. In the Power BI service, we see endorsements as a property of an object. In this workspace, I have two certified data sets and one promoted. And if we look at the settings for one of the data sets, this is the property that we're referring to in this video. The ability to set certified content is based on a tenant setting. The number of people who are allowed to certify content should be pretty limited and should only include people who are knowledgeable about the certification requirements. In larger organizations, you might use multiple groups, but it should still be a pretty limited number of people. Some departments might have trouble getting content formally certified, so instead they use the promoted endorsement. And that's okay as long as everyone using the content knows exactly how you're using the endorsement. Just know that since the promoted endorsement is available to any content creator with edit permissions, how it's used can vary a lot between departments and even between individual creators. There are three types of content that can be endorsed. First, there's the data. This includes data sets and data flows. There are the reports. This includes Power BI and paginated reports. And third, there are apps, the Power BI app, which represents a collection of reports. And at this time, dashboards, Excel workbooks, and workspaces themselves don't currently have an endorsement property. Let's talk first about what we mean by data certification. Data certification is targeted to your content creators. If we have a certified data set, remember that means it signifies trustworthiness. That means self-service report creators can use that as a shared data set for their reports. Effectively, this means they are accepting a dependency on this data source when they build their own reports. It's a similar situation for a certified data flow. Self-service data set creators use the data flow as a source and accept that dependency as a data source. Both of these are highly encouraged and indicates maturity as far as Power BI governance is concerned. But do keep in mind that it absolutely means you need a firm process for how data certification is performed. Now that we know how data certification targets self-service content creators, let's move on. Report certification indicates that the report is trustworthy and can be relied upon to make decisions. Whereas data certification is targeted primarily towards self-service creators, report certification is targeted more towards consumers of the reports. Now, of course, this gets tricky because you'll have to decide if your internal process for a certified report will also require the underlying data set to be certified. I would say yes if build permissions are allowed on that underlying data set. And this brings us to a certified app. Think of the Power BI app as a collection of reports packaged up for delivery to your consumers. Certifying an entire app in the Power BI service is a one-click convenience, but it doesn't change the individual item endorsements within the workspace itself. And let me show you what I mean. Here I'm in my sales analytics workspace, which has a variety of different reports and dashboards and workbooks. Notice that I have a couple of reports that are set to certified, and I have one report set to promoted. 
Notice the yes, no flags for what to include in the app. And there are other reports included in the app which do not have an endorsement. If we look up at the app endorsement itself, the entire app or the collection of reports with that little yes, no flag toggled to yes are all collectively set to be certified. And if we view the app, notice there is a certified label at the top. This is the endorsement from the app itself, and it appears the same regardless of which report is being viewed or which report is selected from that left-hand pane. Now I have some reports in my workspace which are not endorsed. This inconsistency could be confusing if you have people who view content in both the workspace and the app. So you'll want to have a good process for exactly how you're going to handle app endorsements, which include multiple items. Your certification process needs to be a very meaningful thing that conveys trustworthiness of content. So this includes making sure that the data itself is accurate and validated against an authoritative source. It includes a review of data sources and lineage, a review that the data model is sound, which is very important if others will be building reports from it, a security review, not just RLS, by the way, but target workspace security, target app security, etc., and that any required documentation exists for certified content. And you also want to think about how your change management works and expected support for certified content. If you like this information and would like even more details on how to manage certified content, including a customizable template on the certification process, check out my Power BI Deployment and Governance Workshop. Thanks for watching.